Thank you for choosing Veco Garden. Today we're assembling the wall trellis in the VWT LLG model, which is made for L-shaped large Veco Garden raised beds. This video can also be referenced for all L and U-shaped wall trellis models. Inside the box, you'll find packages of hardware and all of the pieces for your wall trellis. Read through the instructions before beginning assembly and lay out all the pieces of the trellis, sorting your upper connectors, which have a notched cutout, and your lower connectors, which have a smooth cutout, into separate piles. The first step is to attach the connectors. The upper connectors attach to the second bolt holes from the top of your bed, while the lower connectors attach to the fifth bolt holes of your garden bed on the side of the bed where the wall trellis will connect, as well as the adjacent corners. If you have already installed your garden bed hardware in these holes, remove it and set it aside. Insert a bolt through the connector and garden bed and secure on the inside of the bed using the washers and nuts from your garden bed and tighten. Once the connectors are secured to your garden bed, slide the longest square poles into the connectors with the flat side down and the notched end up. Secure the square poles by holding a flange washer into the space on the outside of the connector and inserting a bolt through the lower connector and tightening. Once secured, clip the connector caps into place on the outside of the connectors with the Vego Garden logo facing up. Next, loosely stack the remaining square poles referring to the manual's diagram for placement and making sure to align the pre-drilled holes in overlapping sections. Place top covers on to cap each vertical stanchion, but do not install your hardware just yet. Once the poles are stacked, the next step is to connect the columns of square poles to each other using linked poles and curved poles. For placement, refer to the diagrams in your digital manual, noting that the horizontal poles alternate. First, insert the larger interior plugs into the holes on the sides that the links will connect to and insert the smaller exterior plugs into the holes on the outside. These plugs help keep moisture from getting inside your trellis parts. Then insert bolts through the square poles and into the link poles and tighten. Once all link and curve poles are installed, fill all remaining empty holes with plug inserts. And that's it, your wall trellis is complete. If desired, ropes can be tied to the trellis to help smaller vines climb. We recommend using hemp rope as it can be naturally composted once used. We hope this video helped you and we're wishing you all a beautiful day in your garden.